What's going on everybody? Boris here at the Ecology Design Studio coming at you with a very quick tutorial on how to fix audio desynchronization issues. Now what I have here is a clip of a video I'm working on. I'm editing this video for Python. Now, as you can see, I'm recording my desktop and also overlaying my webcam video with audio coming from a separate mic. So let me play that and see if you can notice the desync that's happening. All right, guys, I have all the links open in my browser. I have all the files downloaded. I haven't installed them yet. We're going to go through this process together. I'm going to show you where. So right there, you can already notice that the audio is coming in slightly faster than what's happening in the background in the video. Now, when I play it on the desktop, it's working just fine. When I import it in Premiere Pro, it's not. What's happening? Well, the video is recorded in a variable frame rate format. And when we import it into Premiere, the webcam footage and the audio become desynchronized because they're interpreted with slightly different frame rates, especially when you consider that I'm also recording my desktop in the background. Now your situation might be different. You might be recording gameplay and that's even more demanding on the frame rate. What we can do is convert our video to a constant frame rate format with a free program like Handbrake. I've used it before and it's a, it's a bit processor heavy, but it does work guys. It does get the job done. Now let's open it up. The link to this program is going to be in the description. Now this is the user interface. Now we see here we can uh, work with videos in bulk by pointing it to a folder or we can work with a single video file. Now let's point it to one of the videos. Now under picture, make sure nothing is getting cropped. We want the source and output display sizes to match. If you see any values or numbers here under cropping, click on custom, delete it, and then you can go back to automatic and select the width and height as appropriate. On the right, select a preset that matches your specific video format. I selected 1080p at 30 frame rates per second. Filters, we can ignore. And under the video tab, this is where we set the option for constant frame rate. So let's select that. On the quality, go all the way to the right, RF of zero for lossless quality. Do keep in mind that the file size will likely be larger than the original source you provide, but that's fine. Now under audio, if you're using Nvidia Share, formerly Shadowplay, make sure to select 192 or 192 as the bitrate. And that's because that is what Nvidia uh, uses. And subtitles and chapters we can ignore. Now select where you want your converted video to be saved. Let's see, I'm gonna call it converted to because that's the second clip that I recorded. And click on start encode. I'm gonna stop because as I said, that's very processor intensive. But that's it guys, we're done. I hope this helps you out. If you run into any audio desync issues, so good luck out there on your projects. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.